This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief. Good morning, everyone. I'm Angie Casada with your NBC News Brief. We'll top in our news brief this morning. An Ole Miss student is facing federal civil rights violation charges. It stems from a 2014 incident in which investigators say he tied a noose around the neck of a statue that stand in honor of civil rights icon James Meredith. A federal grand jury indicted uh, Graham Philip Harris earlier this week. In its indictment, that grand jury says Harris engaged in threatening conduct that was directed at Ole Miss African American students and employees. He's charged with one count of conspiracy to violate civil rights and one count of using a threat of force to intimidate African American students. In February of 2014, investigators say Harris and other members of his fraternity tied a noose around the neck of the James Meredith statue and also hung a Georgia flag around its neck. That statue honors Meredith as the first African American student to attend Old Miss. Well, more and more people are getting serious about health and fitness, but one man believes everyone, especially children, should embrace a healthy lifestyle. And he's leaving a long trail of proof that fitness pays off. And our reporter, Tawana Andrew, caught up with him as he left the trail across the Delta and brings us his story. It may look like a leisurely run, but Jup Brown's making more than an imprint in the Delta dirt. He's making an impact. He's from New Zealand, but he's running across the U.S., coast to coast with one mission in mind, to support an organization called the 100 Mile Club, and its mission to get kids active, healthy, in shape. They run it, walk it, or wheel themselves in their wheelchair, however you can do it. It gets them moving, you know, it gets them getting fitter, having fun. And so step by step, stride by stride, Brown and his running partners are raising awareness by raising eyebrows. I said, well, you, you come this far? You see people all the time, you know, how they're running and walking for a cause. So I think he's doing them all this job. It all started in Los Angeles. Brown shot this video of his first few steps of his cross-country mission. Since then, he's crossed Arizona, New Mexico, and he couldn't have hit Texas at a worse time. Snow and freezing rain in Texas. Now a few million steps into his run, he's landed in the Delta. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I think, you know, heading up here up, is it the 61? Yeah, I think that's going to be really cool. As he points his feet towards his final destination, Boston, he's enjoying each mile and each person that he meets. I think it's the the meeting people and the fun side of it that actually keeps me running. In Leland, I'm Tawana Andrew. Thank you for tuning in to your NBC 33 News Brief. We'll see you tonight. This has been a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief.